Day 14 of solving math problems and see until NVIDIA hires me. We're told that 2 to the 15 is equal to 32,768 and the sum of its digits is 26. And we have to find the sum of the digits of the number 2 to the 1,000. Intuitively, you would solve the solution by computing 2 to the 1,000 using some power function and storing it in a variable and returning that variable. However, the issue with this approach in C specifically is that the largest number you can store is 19 digits long using an unsigned long long. And 2 to the 1,000 is much larger than this. Specifically, 2 to the 1,000 has 300 102 digits and we're able to find this number using the formula digits is equal to the floor of log base 10 to the n plus 1 and if we plug 2 to the 1000 into this formula we get d is equal to the floor of 1000 times the log base 10 of 2 plus 1 and this simplifies to 301 plus 1 which is equal to 302. Since we don't have a data type that can store 302 digits, we're going to have to perform manual multiplication on an array of digits. So say our current product is 128 and we have it stored in an array and we want to multiply it by 2. Just like we learned in middle school, we're going to multiply 2 by our first digit in the array, which would be 8, and we get 16. So we'll put a 6 here and a 1 up here. And then we'll do 2 times 2 plus 1, which is equal to 5. So we'll put a 5 down here. And then lastly, we'll do 2 times 1, which is equal to 2, and then we'll store that in our new array. And we get our new product of 2. 256. To solve this programmatically, we'll define an array of size 302 since we know 2 to the 1000 has 302 digits. And we'll initialize the first element in our array to 1. Next, we'll need a variable to keep track of the number of digits in our current product so that when we multiply by 2 in each iteration, we're not multiplying digits by 2 that are not in our product. So say our current array is holding a product of 128, our product size will be of size 3 so when we multiply by 2, we're only multiplying every digit up to 8 by 2. And since we're solving it this way, our array will actually be flipped around like this. And every time we multiply a digit by 2, we'll be storing a carry, which will be the product of our current digit times 2 divided by 10. And the new digit in replace of the old digit will be the product of our current digit times 2 mod 10. With all that in mind, let's get to coding. First, we need the standard IO library. Then we define n to be 1000 and s to be 302. Now we need a function called mult that'll take an integer array called res. Now we'll need a variable called int size and set it equal to one. Then we'll write four in i is equal to zero. i is smaller than n, i plus plus. Then we'll need a variable called int carry and set it equal to zero. Now we'll do four in j is equal to zero. j is smaller than size, j plus plus. And in the loop, we'll say int p is equal to res at j times two plus carry. Then we'll set res of j equal to p mod 10. And we'll set carry equal to p divided by 10. Then outside of this loop, we'll say if we still have a carry, then we'll add the carry to the end of our product. In our main function, we'll need an int array called res of the size s and set the first value to 1. Then we'll need int sum equal to 0 and call our function mult on res. Then we'll sum the digits in our array and print out the sum. Then we compile and run our file and we get 1366. And our answer was correct. See you in day 15.